Here we go. Next one. Hey, Bill, uh, I asked for advice a couple months ago about a friend of mine. This one's another brutal one. About a friend of mine whose girlfriend was having a kid, and I was suspicious about whether or not um, it was his because he had gone and gotten checked twice to see if he could have kids, and the doctor said no. Oh, I remember this guy. Remember that one? The doctor said this guy he got checked twice. They said he couldn't have kids, and all of a sudden his girl was pregnant. And there was questions about her being faithful. I remember this. I remember this. Well, this is the update of this. He said, well, about five months into the pregnancy, she miscarried. So the problem kind of solved itself, but it was a terrible thing to happen. Now they are living together, and I'm still pretty positive she was cheating on him. And he's hanging on to the relationship now through some sort of guilt because of the lost child. It just feels like my friend got one pulled over on him. And I really want to talk to him about it, but I can't find a good way to do it. Uh, your podcast rules, and I hope you come to Edmonton sometime. A comic strip, right? The comic strip in Edmonton. I'll make my way up there at some point. Um, dude, that is a brutal, 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 brutal situation. And uh, it all depends on how you feel. Are you going to be able to live with yourself if you just say, listen, this kid is just a moron. He's my friend, but he's a fucking moron. Because that is an option. You know, the Goodfellas moment. You know, when he, he uh, they tell that joke in Italian, and De Niro says, what does it mean? And, and Pesci goes, it means he's, he's content to be a jerk. You know, what am I going to say? My wife two times me? That joke. Basically about a guy who knows his wife's fucking around on him, and he just doesn't, he just looks the other way. He's content to be a jerk. So that's what your friend is right now. I know there's emotions involved, so there's, there is hope for him. But... You know, he's he's fucking himself over. So this is the deal. If you can live with yourself and just say this guy's content to be a jerk, I'm not going to get in the fucking middle of this because there's so many obvious red flags here and this kid is just choosing to think, ignore them. Um, You could just say, fuck it. He's content to be a fucking idiot. But if you're not going to be able to live with yourself, then I would just sit down and talk to him. All right? And... Um, Hopefully he listens to you, and if not, and he stops being your friend, um, there's nothing you can fucking do about that. And I got a feeling probably seven or eight years from now, you might get a phone call of him saying, you know what, you were right. But th those are impossible situations. Jesus Christ, how the fuck would I handle that? I would, uh, I would say something. You know what? I would. I would definitely say something. But uh, I don't know how to do that, to be honest with you. How the fuck would I say? I would say, listen, you know, I'm friends with you. We've been friends a long time. That's when, that's when your buddy knows something fucked up's coming. <laughs> listen, we've been friends a long time, right? We've had a lot of good times, right? You know? You know, you know that I've always been there for you and I never try to steer you wrong, right? Like, I think your girlfriend is a two-time in Hula. Yeah, how do you say that? I would just rip the Band-Aid off. Just say, listen, there's something I have to talk to you about. We're friends. And as a friend, all right, I can't. Stop thinking about this, and it would kill me to not bring this up to you. I have to do this. I'm not trying to be malicious. I'm doing this because you're my friend. And then I would just say, look. Ah, uh, Jesus, I just had it, and I already forgot how fucking difficult this is. I would just be, <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Look, you told me you couldn't have kids. You went to the doctor twice. You got tested. They said you couldn't have kids. Yet this girl somehow got fucking pregnant. Don't say fuck there. Yet your, your, your girl somehow got pregnant. Okay? Then you just sort of stare at him. <laughs> I, I don't know where to go from there. All right? My gut's telling me that that wasn't your fucking kid. See, that's a hard one too. That one, that, that kid you just fucking cried over that didn't get born. I don't think it was yours anyways. Ah, Jesus, dude, this is fucking brutal. Brutal.
Um, I would do – this is what I would do. I would do what I'm doing right now into a mirror and just keep correcting it as you go. The same way I said, okay, don't say fuck there, and then you back it up again and just somehow figure out a way to say that I think your girlfriend is a whore. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that she's being – I don't think you're – I don't think the woman that you're with has been a 100% honest with you. And I don't think that she has been 100% faithful. And my gut was, is telling me that that wasn't your kid. See, that's brutal, taking it to there. All right? I think you need to get out of this relationship. I mean, I don't, dude, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to fucking, yeah, you stumped me. You stumped the schwami. I, you know, not like I know everything, obviously, but uh, I usually can come up with some sort of angle. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Um, but for whatever you do, don't write it down. Don't put it in a letter because he'll probably show it to her and then then, uh, then it'll just be brutal. The fuck that. Don't, don't do that. Just, uh, yeesh. That's a, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, dude. That's a fucking brutal one. Jesus, does it work to just say it? Listen, man, you're best, we're best friends, right? We can say anything to each other? Yeah, I think your girlfriend uh, fucked somebody else without a condom, and got pregnant and said it was yours. And it was such a fucking psycho cunt that she was about ready to let you take on the responsibility and invest that sort of time, your life. She was content to throw away your fucking life because she can't keep her fucking legs on the ground and her panties up around her fucking waist. Do you understand me? She's a fucking whore. All right? You went to two fucking doctors and they said you can't get pregnant, dude. How dumb are you? Get your fucking head out of her fucking vagina and wake up. It's not your kid. All right? That was God. God gave you a fucking mulligan. He gave you a pass. All right? There you go. You want to get old? You want to get fucking religious about it? Get out of the goddamn relationship. Stop being such a fucking pussy. Leave her. Cry about it for fucking six weeks, whatever you got to do. Go join a fucking gym and get on with your fucking life and start wearing a condom. All right? Now, I know that team that we saw in the first half is not the fucking team that I know. But we got another 30 minutes of fucking football, and I want you to get out there and prove to me that you can play like the way I know you can play. That's what you do. You go, there we go. Took me a minute to work it out. You go fucking Vince Lombardi. Grab, grab, grab. Nobody tackling. She's a fucking whore. You got to go like that. You got to build up. You got to start slow. You got to start slow. In all my years of looking at relationships, I don't think I have ever in my life seen a woman so pull the fucking wool of pubes over somebody's fucking eyes like I did in that first half. You know what I saw out there? I saw bullshit. Just some. I don't know. Dude, I'm out. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Tell that fucking kid he needs to make some halftime adjustments. All right? Pull the ripcord. Get the fuck out of there. Gee, I, ugh. See? These, these, these are the things. They, they, don't, they, don't, they don't talk about these kinds of, of, of women on, on those real shows. They'll show women like that on Jerry Springer and everyone looks like a retard so nobody gives a fuck. Right. But they won't show those kinds of women on those those real sort of issue shows when they're just always talking about guys who beat their women, which they're horrible fucking people and they should talk about them. But why don't they ever talk about whores? You know, the only time they talk about whores is just when they try to figure out why they're a whore. You know, dad didn't stick around. Fucking uncle diddled them or, you know, whatever. They always got a fucking reason. They always got a goddamn excuse, you know. Maybe they're just whores. You ever think of that? I think, is there any women out there? Is a woman out there? I want to I know this. Okay, this is totally anonymous. And I'm not judging you because I'm a male whore myself. All right? I want to know this. Do, have, is there a woman out there where dad stuck around? You had a great family? You weren't touched in any funny way? You went to school? You know, you were a Girl Scout. You did all the right things. But you just love dick. And not only do you love dick, you love a bunch of different dicks. And you are in a relationship, but every once in a while, you just got to go out and go bang somebody else because you're fucking bored. Basically, are you wired like a man? 
That's what I want to know. Okay? And you can be totally honest. Let's examine let's examine that because I don't even think it's fair to just brand them all whores. I don't. I think some of them are uh, actually really intelligent and they've actually sat and contemplated it, you know, or, you know, done what I've done is justify their piece of shit moves. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know something? This is the time when I really should just have a guest. I, I don't have a guest. I got to have more guests on this fucking podcast. What do you, what, 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 what do you want from me? All right. You guys want some YouTube videos for this week? Uh, have you slumped over in your cubicles left yet? Have you done that hmm? with five minutes left in your fucking day? 